Hello again. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try this new camera angle. Um, I'm not really sure if I like it because of that. Yeah, I don't really have a door for that closet, which I know is kind of a problem, but we'll get a door on there eventually. Anyways, I'm gonna try to look around. I might do some videos from other rooms in the house just to see if I can't find something better. Uh, if you have any opinions, then just comment. That's what it's there for. Yeah, it's kind of dark without that light. I was just noticing the boxes from my glasses. Anyways, we can deal it, so on with the video. So anyways, yesterday I was doing homework, and by doing homework I mean watching videos on YouTube, and I happened upon this recording of Hank Green performing at... I forget what... Anyways, about half an hour into the video, he started singing the song, which was basically an adaptation of a tongue twister. Um, I guess I'll try to sing it, but I don't know if I'm going to do it justice, um, especially since I don't know the second half. Anyways, it goes, If my life as a mother pheasant plucker is pleasant, just listening to music while I pluck mother pheasants. And I'm gonna say the second part really slowly, because if I don't, then I'm gonna end up with a job that I'm not legally old enough for. Yes, I'm a pleasant pheasant plucker, and nobody's ever heard a pleasant mother pheasant plucker like me say the F word. Hey, I did it. <laughs> Anyways, he repeats that and it gets faster and faster and it's really funny. Um, he does mess up once or twice, but he never says the F word, which I commend him for. It's honestly better than I can say. So of course, being the hardworking student that I am, I ended up spending the next, I don't know how long, looking up tongue twisters. In particular, I looked up the pheasant plucker, and uh, it's actually kind of a long story type song thing. Um, I actually still have it up on a page on my iPhone, I think. Yeah, this page actually calls it the pheasant plucking song, but I'm not sure the tune, so I'm just going to read a stanza or two. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. Me husband is a keeper, he's a very busy man. I try to understand him and I help him all I can, but sometimes in an evening I feel a trifle dim. All alone I'm plucking pheasants when I'm rather pluck with him. When I'd rather pluck with him. And yeah, it goes on, and uh, my good friend Godrick... Godfrey, and they talk about all these people who are plucking pheasants. Anyways, moving on, because this video is titled as such for a reason, I ended up looking at some German tongue twisters. And really, I should put tongue twisters in quotes like that, because they were more kind of, I wouldn't even call them tautological statements, they were kind of if A then A type statements, like, Wenn hinterfliegen fliegen 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 nach, which means when flies fly behind flies, then flies fly behind flies. And to me that wasn't very satisfying, so I ended up asking my German teacher if she knew any better ones, and uh, yes, she does. In fact, let me try to find the good one that she told me about. Um, I can't quite remember how to say it off the top of my head, because it is, well, kind of hard to say. Ah, here we go. Um, read very slowly, it goes, Fischer's Fritz Frist Fischer Fisch. Sorry. Fischer's Fritz Frist Frische Fische. Frische Fische Frist Fischer's Fischer's Fritz Frist Frische Fische. Frische Fische Frist Fischer's Fritz. Basically, Fisherman Fritz eats fresh fish. And then backwards. Anyways, I guess. Pink. Okay, I guess I'm talking over here, otherwise, we have a pink screen. Anyways, I guess none of that's really important or relevant, but it did remind me of what we were actually doing in German class. Like last week, we started reading a German version of Harry Potter, and of course we got sidetracked, and somehow the idea of making a Harry Potter movie in German came up, and since Frau's awesome, that's what she's letting us do instead of, like, German work for the rest of the year. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I guess it's pink over here, too. Okay, that seems better, but, uh, hmm. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to deal. Now, I'm not really the best at German, but I guess if I can get better at speaking English by talking to a webcam, then I can get better at German by playing with a wand. Now, granted, this film's gonna be very bad because, well, it's a school film with very limited time and no budget, but still, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and, uh, if I decide to, maybe I'll post a link or a video of it later. I'm betting it's going to be worth a laugh. Hopefully because it's funny, but more likely because I'm going to look really stupid. But, uh, hey. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. This has been Veda Day 4, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.